All right, just for kicks, let's go ahead and do it wrong so we can troubleshoot. This is the kind of mistake that happens really commonly. So for example, we've got this um, tabular data and we know that we're gonna be measuring distances over North America. So when we display XY data, here's our table, we'll call it um, banding three, um, we still have these set correctly, so that's good. And then um, let's use a coordinate system that makes sense for our research. So let's see here. I'm going to projected continental North America. And we'll use the North America e equidistant conic. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we plot those up. Something we know is wrong because they're not here, but they're here for some reason. Um, but there's only one point. So if you were going to try and troubleshoot what might have gone wrong, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can look at the extent values. I go there first. So source and then extent. These numbers are embedded in the data set themselves, but the units come from the coordinate system that the user defines. So these are changeable when you're displaying XY data. You, the user, are responsible for the units, but these come from the data points themselves. This is the geography of the original data. So you can see right here that we already have a mismatch. We've got units of meters with these really small numbers. The second thing I would do is zoom in to see if there is, in fact, more than one point, or we could open the attribute table. Oh, wow. So here's a data set that kind of looks like it could be spanning uh, the northern part of North America, but it's really small. Look at the map scale is 1 to 526. Um, if I get the measuring tool out, Across the whole thing is about 105 meters. So something is clearly wrong. And what's wrong is the extent, um, like I showed you before. This indicates exactly what went wrong. When we display this data, we have to use units of degrees to make these numbers make sense. And so what's happened here is that all the data has plotted up exactly where you told it to. Um, you know, within 180 meters of the origin of this Cartesian plane. This coordinate system has an origin that's right here. All right, so right here on the border between Nebraska and Kansas uh, is where our entire North America data set is drawing up. Um, so this is obviously the origin for North America equidistant conic coordinate system. This is the zero, zero, and all the points are plotting up within 180 meters, you know, north, south, east, west of this origin. So to fix this, you could either go into Windows and delete the PRJ file that's now associated with this data set, um, or I would simply remove these from the map and just start fresh.